to my channel. So I've been trying to keep an eye out for Target to hit 90% off. Now what I always do is I always kind of go back to my old videos to see when that hit it. Um, I wasn't sure if Target was even going to do 90% off with Christmas and then everybody's like, oh, they did it. And I'm like, whatever. I already bought a bunch of stuff at 70% off. But they did do 90% off for Target. Um, I was kind of keeping an eye out for it. If you guys don't know, go to Brickseek. Um, you could go to the Target website, find something, get all you need is the DCIP, whatever number, the DCIP number, I think is what it is. And then you just type in that number on the BrickSeek website, you choose Target, you choose your zip code, and then it gives you all the lists of the stores that have that product. Now, just because that store, does, just because that product is not in stock at your store doesn't mean you guys can still keep an eye out for it. None of my store, I had like a paper plate is what I found. None of my stores had this paper plate, but they're all stores like over an hour away from me. But I still kept on to that because it would still show if your store still shows if it's 90 or 70 percent off so yesterday i did check and it did say it was 70 percent off and then i checked this morning and i'm like oh i got out of bed instantly and just went to target um i have two stores i have two stores within about five ish minutes from each other i know it's crazy but one store was 70 percent and one store was 90. i didn't even go to the 70 percent off store um if it does go to 90 percent off tomorrow i'll probably go um but yeah i'm here to share with you guys what I got now I'm not trying to go crazy less I, in the past I've gone like super super crazy which is awesome but uh what I really like to do for Valentine's Day and Easter stuff is I like to get stuff for goodie bags now it's not just for Easter it's not just for those products I like to get stuff for the kids' birthday so I'll share with you guys on that so I did take Ben with me Ben wanted to come um and he picked out this pillow. It's like a, it's like one of those swimming suit ma materials. But I thought this pillow is really cute. He's like, Mom, can we please get this for Miss Charlotte? He wanted to get something for his his sister Charlotte. He was just like, I really want to get this for Charlotte. And I'm like, Yeah, that's okay. So I scanned this, and I think this was like a dollar twenty nine. This is it says it's scented. It's fourteen ninety nine. So this was a dollar forty nine. I thought that was kind of cute. It says it's scented. I barely smell anything, but I thought this would be kind of like a cool little pillow. Plus, if you guys have a tailbone problem like I do, I have a very serious tailbone problems. This is perfect for you guys. Just saying. Just saying. If you guys have a tailbone problem, that's awesome. So Ben wanted to get that for his sister, and I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Um, their candy and, and food is never 70 or never 90% up, but you know what? I still like to get it. So the kids really like cheese balls. So this was 70% off, and this was a uh, $2.49, and there's 30 of them in here. I thought these are perfect for the kids to take for a snack, or Ben wants to bring some to school. I ended up getting that. They also had some Cheetos and, and Doritos, but those were not on sale. But got those, and I'll share with you guys a little bit more stuff. I ended up getting this skirt for Miss Charlotte. I could even wear this. Like, this is big enough for me to wear. Um, but it's for girls 14 through 16, so it's an extra large. But I thought, you know what, Miss Charlotte could wear this when she gets older, or I could wear it. Um, but this was originally $17.99, and I got this for $1.79. So I always buy clothes way ahead of time because you never know you never know now this i thought was pretty cool they actually had three of them and this is over in the dollar spot area but it was actually located in the valentine section and i scanned it and it said zero the price said zero so um the cashier uh we have the cashier at this target that i go to she's deaf so i had to like write it down for her i'm like this said it was zero i says it was in the dollar spot and she's like okay but um it came with a key but i thought i could do something with my cricket machine um uh, making something i actually just bought a cricket maker so i will do in a video for that when i get that um but for three dollars i get this for 30 cents i thought that'd be kind of a cool little decoration thing that i can do for valentine's day next year and then i found this this is the only one that they had but it was the crayola silly sense dough um she didn't know what the price was. I didn't know what the price was. So she just gave this to me for 30 cents. I'm like, yeah, this makes sense. About $3 for this. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I thought this is kind of cool for the kids just to play with. So got that for 30 cents. And I went crazy with Valentine's Day. Now, um, Ben didn't do Valentine's Day at school. They said that we are not allowed to bring any Valentine's Day stuff to school whatsoever. And I'm like, well, that's kind of sad. But the stuff that we got here is for Ben and the kids to play with. It's also for Ben's birthday party and Charlotte's birthday party. So he saw these. These are the sports ball clings. These were $3.50, so I got these for $0.35. Cents. They're actually like little, like, 
window clings the gel if i ben if you want these for your window i don't care i mean for 35 cents you can't go wrong so he got these um that he wanted those i'm like for 35 cents i don't care I went to Walmart the other day and their stuff was 90% off and I didn't do a haul because I didn't get very much and I got a couple things for, for goodie bags for the kids. Well, Ben saw these at Target and these are Hot Wheel pencils and I'm like, Ben, you have to get these. This was originally $3.50 so I got this for $0.35. Cents. Um, but it is a 16 pack of pencils. So the other one that I got was stencils at Walmart but I'm like, you know what? You can't go wrong with this. You cannot go wrong with pencils like pencils for 35 cents people just think oh valentine's no i think of other uses for this here we got six uh suction cup monsters so these were four dollars so 40 cents and all they are is like little suction cup monsters ben's like oh i want these i want to grab a bunch of them i'm like no but these would be perfect to give to his friends for birthday parties so these would be something that i put in um the little goodie bags for the kids so i thought that was cool so we got two of those Ben's really into paper airplanes lately. Like, he just wants paper airplanes. I'm like, why not? So these were G.I. Joe. This was $3.50, so we got this for $0.35. Cents. But all it is is, like, a little Valentine's that you can fold into a paper airplane. I'm like, if he wants to play with that, he can play with that. I ended up getting another pack of pencils because, you know, when school starts, he's got pencils, too. Yeah. And we're having a SpongeBob birthday party for Ben this year. He's like, Mom, I really want SpongeBob. So these are magnets that come with it. They are 16 Valentine magnets with uh, with magnets. And it looks like the magnets aren't even really Valentine's Day stuff. So I got these. When I was at Walmart the other day, they had this like holographic stuff. So I'm like, you know what? We're going to get those. Those are perfect for him for his birthday party. So I have a little tote before anybody... Um, before anybody judges me, I have a little tote that I put all uh, goodie bags, uh, things for parties. I have a tote that it just ha it goes right in there. It doesn't lie around, so I know I'll be getting crap for that, like I always do. Uh, we are shopping around, and Ben found these. These are the Ryan Ryan's World Road Trips. These are mystery micro figures. Saw it on the shelf. It was completely empty. It was on clearance for a dollar nineteen, and then I'm like, oh look, Ben, what's this? So I price scanned it, and these all ring up a dollar nineteen. So I'm like, you can get a bunch of them. He actually collects these. He wants to try to get all 50 states. And I'm like, for $1.19, we can grab a bunch. Because I said, if I ever found these at the Dollar Tree, I pretty much buy them all. So we did buy a ton of them. So he was excited for that. I'm obsessed with the conversation hearts. Now, I like just like the cheap, chalky kind. Um, there's different ones. But I don't remember them ever having flavor. It says wintergreen, banana, orange, lemon, cherry, and grape. I don't remember them ever having the flavors on here. Maybe they did. But these rang up to be a dollar forty nine. I thought, yes, I saw some at the Dollar Tree or Walmart the other day, and they were like the tangy ones. I don't like the tangy ones. I like the chalky ones. So a dollar forty nine. Yes, those are perfect for me to eat. Okay, I found these. These are gonna be for uh, Charlotte's. Let me get. I'll show that to you guys. Then I have these markers. Now these are paint markers. These were originally five dollars. Got these for fifty cents. And then these are glitter markers, and they look like they're paint because they're paint rolled around in them. But for 50 cents for some cool little markers, I thought that was cool. But just a shake marker cap. Yeah, so 50 cents. Can't go wrong with markers. Now, I'm a person who loves to give things away. I love helping people. So I was going to do this last year for Ben's school, but they didn't do valentine's day this year so i ended up getting a bunch of these little ziploc baggies um what i'm actually going to do with these is i'm going to make a little goodie bags for the kids for ben's class next year so he, i said ben you pick what you wanted so he picked out these three um there really wasn't anything boyish about them but he picked that out um these were 29 cents 29 cents so they had a ton of these so I thought, okay. And then I have one more bag for you guys to share with you. But I saw these like right away. These are stretchy critters. I saw the shark. Um, I don't even know what there else is in here. A koala, a shark. I don't even know. But these were $3 and I got these for 30 cents. I thought these would be cool for Charlotte's little gift bags for her birthday party. We're doing baby shark theme. So I thought those would be perfect for the little gift bags that we give away to everybody. They had tablecloths, you guys. Plastic tablecloths. These were $3. $3. Um, I ended up getting them for $0.30, cents, and I can make wreaths out of these, which I thought were pretty good. 
Um, it doesn't say if it's round or not, but I could always use these for tablecloths if I need to, too. I mean, just because they're red doesn't mean I can't use them. So, 30 cents. They had a couple more, but I didn't grab them. I just grabbed those three. They had a ton of these fruit snacks. Now, my husband loves fruit snacks. Ben loves fruit snacks. These were $2.24. I got these for $2.24, and it is a 32-pack. This is cheaper than if I went and bought the regular stuff on the shelf. And so I ended up buying two of those. And then here is the other little shark thing that I got. So that is everything I got, you guys. Like I said, I didn't go crazy um, in the past. I've just, I got to do it. I got to do it for video. They hardly had any clothes. The only thing they had was that skirt, and then they had Jojo Siwa dresses, which they had the same dresses last year. Um, but yeah, my store didn't have any signs, nothing that said it was 90% off. I was just like walking around. I'm like, oh, but if definitely if the next store tomorrow does go 90% off, I'm probably going to check that out also. But I was happy with everything that I got. I'm not going to tell you how much I spent because I bought all their stuff and I didn't add everything together. But with what I got, I think I probably spent what, 10 bucks, 10, $15 for all that stuff. I think that's a pretty, pretty good deal. I was happy with everything that I got. If you guys definitely check out your uh, uh, Target. If you're not sure, you could always go to BrickSeek. Just go find a Valentine's Day item. Sometimes they're on the BrickSeek website. And then you guys just choose and you can see what store has 90% off. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys possibly for another Valentine's haul. But I'm going to try to share with you guys a Michael's Box Mystery when those come out. I'm not sure the date on that yet. I have to look at my past video to find out when I did an unboxing for that. But anyways, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.